You want to know the secrets to getting locations? Well, I'm about to tell you. What's going on? It's your boy, Jonte Grove, and this is the Vending Machine Masterpiece on YouTube. Check us out on the podcast with the same exact name. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook. Send me a DM. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ha! <laughs> so today is a beautiful day. I'm out and about with the wife. Just left a doctor's appointment, and uh, we dropped the kids off this morning. So I'm gonna tell you a little story. So how I got these two new locations. Um, dropped the kids off this morning. My wife, she's a school teacher, so where my kids go is where she teaches at. Um, so she had to go print out some stuff, ah, whatever, teacher stuff, right? And uh, so I'm sitting in the car, and I say, you know what? I'm going to listen to my boy Gary V. Get a little bit of inspiration today, because sometimes, man, you know, I need to feel the motivation, and I. Sometimes don't feel motivated to do stuff. So I'm sitting, I'm watching um, one of his uh, little videos and on the Gary V channel. And um, he says in the video, literally, stop watching these videos and go do what you got to do to hustle every single day. And I was like, that bull right. I forgot. Hit the X. Sorry, Gary V. Peace out. I said, you know what I can do while I'm sitting here? I can cold call. So what did I do? I typed in um, auto repair shops near me. A few came up. Um, and I got the call in. Literally called two places and they didn't pick up. I called the third place, which was um, a chain to one of my other locations that I have, um, Bolt Candy in. And I was like, you know what? Because these are kind of franchised, like they kind of govern themselves. Let me give one of these other places. That's like the place that I have. I don't want to give out my location because this might be this might be my end. I'm gonna tell you this might be my end, and I kind of want to tell you. So um, I call. You can tell I'm excited. So I call. <laughs> so I called them, and I you know I gave them my little spiel. And I'm gonna tell you. Listen, when you cold call. Um, the one thing that I learned from cold calling, from doing, like I said, like online sales and stuff like that, is don't hit them with the high pitch salesy voice. They will hang up on your ass in a second. Don't hit them with that. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jonte Grove, and I'm calling from AMJ. Don't do that. I'm just telling you, don't do that. Because already me doing it probably put you in a position where you felt like, I don't even want to listen to this guy no more. Right? So I always use like a little deeper monotone voice, like almost as if I'm a customer. Right? And I kind of grab the attention. So that's just a little tip. But anyway, so I called and I asked them if they were interested in getting a free vending machine. My man said, you know what? Ah, that'd be kind of cool because we don't have one, but we also don't have the space. I said, oh, no problem. But did you know we also offer bulk candy machines? And he was like, bulk candy machines? I said, yeah, Skittles, Peanuts, Mike and Ice. I said, the machine isn't big at all. I said, it don't take up no space. Um, matter of fact, I already have a few. I said a few. There's only really one. But I have a few in other places like your establishment. And he said, oh, okay. All right, no problem. So he said, listen, man, I'm be here until 6 o'clock. Come on down. You know, give me some paperwork or whatever, whatever, uh, like, a, like a brochure. And we can, talk, we can talk some business. I said, cool, no problem. Boom. Got one. All right, no problem. Uh, I have a brochure that I made up for the full line. I don't actually have one for the bulk because I wasn't doing my own locations for that. So now I'm going to go home and actually put something together. Um, so I called uh, the same exact place in that franchise. Boom. Hit them up. Hey, what's going on? It's Jonte Grove with AMJ Vending Services, right? Game the shame spiel. Guess what my man said? Ah, shoot, man. This would be nice, but... We just don't have the space. Do you have like a tabletop or something like that? Listen, guess what? Man, I was on Facebook yesterday. It's somebody selling. These are old machines. We got one in my firehouse, actually. 
where it's the combo machine that got the little dials. I'm pretty sure y'all saw them. It's the combo machine that only takes coins and they got the little turns on the side. It's almost just like a really tall Vinstar, I almost feel like, right? You just turn it. We got one at my firehouse. We use it all the time. There's actually somebody right now on Facebook selling two of them for $250. And these the half ones, they literally sit on top of each other. I said, oh, yeah, I got a tabletop one. I don't got a tabletop one, but I can go get one today. So I said, listen, man, I got a tabletop one. I said, but if you don't want that machine, guess what else I can offer you? I can offer you a bulk candy machine. He said, what's that? I said, man, I can put Skittles, M&Ms, Mike and Ice, plain M&Ms, peanuts. I don't really mess with peanuts, but peanuts, gumballs, whatever you like, hot tamales, whatever you want, man. He said, listen. You got my address, right? I said, yeah, I got your address. He said, man, mail me a brochure. First of all, I ain't about to mail you no nothing. I'm about to show up. I'm about to get in my car today and drive down and drop off one of these brochures. I, I shit. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gumball machines filled up and put them in my trunk. So after I talk to you, if you say yes, I'm going to be like, well, guess what? Today's your lucky day, brother. I got one in my trunk right now. I can put it right here. If you don't like it after 24 days or 30 days, I'll take it. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, if these spots are anything like the one that I have already, that's the one from I collected. Man, that joint did, I think, if I'm not mistaken, $55.75. And, and when I checked the vents off, it was only a 24 five day collection i'm trying to do 30 days it was a 25 day collection right this is the crazy part the skittles wasn't working in that machine right the plain m&ms wasn't but the uh the the, the peanut m&ms were that was almost gone so you telling me if all of those was working the way they were supposed to be working it would have been even more money in there listen let me tell you man I'm going to fill the machines up, and I'm going to get them two tabletops. I'm going to buy those. I'm going to check them out, make sure they're cool. Hey, listen, you said you wanted a tabletop kind of vending machine. I'm going to get it. The only reason why I wasn't really too big on those because I had this misconception that nobody, that nobody carries change in their pocket. My wife said, man, you're the only person that don't carry change in your pocket. For you to have all these damn gumball and candy machines, not to have no quarters in your pocket, you ain't never got no quarters in your pocket. Listen, that was my misconception because apparently they do because I got all them damn quarters inside those machines, right? So, hey, listen, I'm, I'm, hey, listen, cold calling, man. If you, if you got some time, you sit in the car, like right now, I'm doing this video. After I'm done doing this, I'm getting back on the phone, I'm cold calling. Even if I can grab 10 locations and I don't have machines to fill them, I know that I got these machines that I know I got these locations on deck and I know that they want them. You get what I'm saying? So listen, cold call, man. The Facebook is cool. You can only send so many messages. Like it's, time is money. Like I can't, you know, I send five messages. I, I barely get a reply. At least if I can pick up the phone, I can talk to somebody. Because if you got the gift of gab, you know what I mean? If you got the gift of gab, you can, hey, I can sell salt to a slug. You got a bridge, I can sell it. You understand? So, hey, listen, I'm excited, man. And it's getting nice out. Ooh, it's getting nice out. So you know I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out, man. We're going to be getting these locations. I'm excited. I'm excited for y'all because I'm giving y'all this information. And I know, man, some of y'all not going to do it. Hey, listen, be honest with y'all. Some of y'all not going to go out here and y'all not going to do it. And that's fine. But to the 1% of y'all that watch these videos that y'all going to go out and y'all going to have this, this fire in y'all belly that's going to be like, you know what, man? If John Tate Grove can do it, I can do it. Because guess what? I ain't nobody special. I'm a regular person. Man, I was born just like y'all. I'm a regular person. I wasn't, I don't got no special powers. You know what I mean? I just called. So, hey, if I can do it with my, oh, can't show that. <laughs> if I could do it with this hat and this, man, listen, you can do it. Um, I'm going to be getting some hoodies and t-shirts made too with the logo on there so I look more professional. You know what I mean? So, definitely going to be doing that. But, hey, it's going down. Man, it's going down, but I'm going to finish this video because it's starting to be long and you know, it's just me talking to y'all because I'm excited. You know what I mean? So, look, I'm out of here, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, do all that. Man, I'm out, man. Have a good day.